Hi, welcome to Magic Bedtime Stories, sponsored by Barberton City Schools Curriculum Department. My name is Miss Maxwell, and I'm a kindergarten teacher at Barberton Elementary West. I love to read, and I have lots of favorite books, just ask my students, but this one is at the top of my list. It is The Cat in the Hat, and it is written and illustrated by Dr. Seuss. But did you know that wasn't his real name? His real name was actually Theodore Seuss Skeisel. Now, when Dr. Seuss wrote this book, it was the first of its kind in a new series of beginner books that were easy to read and had lots of good fun that was funny. It's about a brother and a sister who were very bored on a rainy day until something showed up. Let's find out what it was. The Cat in the Hat. The sun did not shine, it was too wet to play, so we sat in the house on that cold, cold, wet day. I sat there with Sally, we sat there we two, and I said, oh, how I wish we had something to do. It was too wet to go out and too cold to play ball, so we sat in the house and we did nothing at all. So all we could do was sit, 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 and we did not like it, not one little bit. And then something went bump. That bump made us jump. We looked and then we saw him step in on the mat. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun that is funny. I know some good games we could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Then Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. But our fish said, no, no. Make that cat go away. Tell that cat in the hat you do not want to play. He should not be here. He should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. Now, now, have no fear, have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Well, we can have lots of good fun, if you wish, with a game that I call Up, Up, Up with the Fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is no fun at all. Put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Have no fear, said the cat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball with a book in one hand and a cup on my hat. That is not all I can do, said the cat. Oh boy. Look at me. Look at me now, said the cat. With a cup and a cake on the top of my hat, I can hold up two books. I can hold up the fish and a little toy ship and some milk on a dish. And look, I can hop up and down on a ball. And that is not all. Oh, no, that is not all. Look at me. Look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up a cup and the milk and the cake. I can hold up these books and a fish on a rake. I can hold up the toy ship and a little toy man. And look, with my tail, I can hold a red fan. I can fan with the fan as I hop on the ball. And that is not all. Oh, no, that is not all. That is what the cat said, and then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from up there on the ball, and Sally and I, we saw all of the things fall. Oh, what a mess. And our fish came down, too. He fell into the pot, and he said, do I like this? Oh, no, I do not. This is not a good game, said the fish as he lit. No, I do not like it. Not one little bit. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house. Look at this. Look at that. You sank our tour ship, sank it deep in the cake. You shook up our house and you bent the new rake. You should not be here when our mother is out. Get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. But I like to be here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat. To the fish in the pot, 
I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so, said the cat in the hat, so, 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 I will show you another good game that I know. And then he ran out, and then as fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back in with a box. A big red wood box. It was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat. Take a look. Then he got up on top with the tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat in the hat. In this box are two things I will show to you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. I will pick up the hook and you'll see something new. Two things. And I call them thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you. They want to have fun. Then out of the box came thing one and thing two. As they ran to us fast, they said, how do you do? Would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? And Sally and I did not know what to do. So we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their two hands, but our fish said, no, no, those things should not be in this house. Make them go. They should not be here when your mother is out. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things, and he gave them a pat. They are tame, oh, so tame. They have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet, wet day. Now, here is a game that they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. No, not in the house, said the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in the house. They should not. Oh, the things they will bump, all oh, the things they will hit. Oh, I do not like it. Not one little bit. Then Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, thump, thump, bump. Down the wall in the hall. This just keeps getting worse, doesn't it? Thing two and thing one, they ran up and they ran down. On the string of one kite, we saw mother's new gown. Her gown with the dots that are pink, white, and red. Then we saw one kite bump the head of her bed. Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks, and with hops and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that they play. If mother could see this, oh, what would she say? You guys think she would say. I know, right? Then our fish said, look, look. And our fish shook with fear. Your mother's on her way. Do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? What will she say? Oh, she will not like it to find us this way. Remember that mess? So, do something fast, said the fish. Do you hear? I saw her, your mother, your mother is near. So as fast as you can, think of something to do. You will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. They should probably listen. So as fast as I could, I went after my net and I said, with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. Then I let down my net. It came down with a plop. I had them at last. Those two things had to stop. Then I said to the cat, now you do as I say. You pack up those things and you take them away. Oh, dear, said the cat. You do not like our game? Oh, dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Then he shut up the things in a box with a hook, and the cat went away with a sad kind of look. That is good, said the fish. He has gone away. Yes, but your mother will come, and she will find this big mess. And this mess is so big and so deep and so tall, you cannot pick it up. There is no way at all. That is a mess. I love this part. 
And then, who is back in the house? Why, the cat. I've no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick up all my playthings. So should you, by the way. And so I will show you another good trick that I know. Then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake and the rake and the gown and the milk and the strings and the books and the dish and the fan and the cup and the ship and the fish. And he put them away. And then he said, that is that. And then he was gone with the tip of his hat. Then our mother came in and she said to us too, did you have any fun? Tell me, what did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Should we tell her about it? Now what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? And that is the end of the story. I love how Dr. Seuss at the end made you think about the story and tell what you thought. Thanks for visiting Magical Bedtime Stories where the magic of reading is only a click away. Good night.